This is Jet with Pop Austin Media, and this is the Austin Minute. I'm here with Dion today. How's it going, man? What's going on, man? I'm actually in camera today. How y'all doing today? Thanks for having me back. Man, it's been a good uh, last few weeks with these interviews. I had Grace Sorensen in. Yep. It was a good conversation. And then I had uh, Jose Soto Jr., which harking back to a lot of good things that we had man, um, in so the scene memories. in the day. Yeah, I mean, Jose was a <clears throat> you know, a legend in the club promoting day, so um, we definitely had a good conversation with him, so I'm excited to drop that. Oh, yeah, that interview's coming out soon. We can't wait to put that one out. Um, so, And there'll be more coming out. We have a lot of good things in the tuck, so definitely be on the lookout with these interviews. And, For sure. hey, if you do something, step by uh, Pop Austin Media and tell your story. But we're here for some topics. We got two topics today, and we're going to start with topic one which is a topic that I really not, not necessarily want to talk about, but, I mean, it's a polarizing yeah. topic. If you so, live in Austin, you got you to gotta know. Yeah, and I'll, I bet you a lot of people in the world know about Prop A. Now, <clears throat> Prop A, what is Prop A, and is it yes or no? Let's go over Prop A just real quick. What is Prop A if you vote yes? Well, it establishes minimum police staffing basically two police officers for every 1,000 residents uh, an additional 40 hours of police training and for topics which is such as active shooter scenarios critical thinking and defensive taxes which they should have already had yeah I should have been on the so the requirement and then they're gonna pro- provide them basically with bonuses if they can speak bilingual and do different things like mentoring programs and honorable conduct which that's something that they should do anyway with taking the the oath yeah and if you vote no that's basically saying no to all that in which i in favor of no um what's your thoughts on that though i'm also in favor of no just um being an austinite and living you know in the city before the police was defunded and um after and i think just life after um has really been more better um, you know, you see, you don't see as many police on the road. I don't see hardly any speed traps, which, you know, I saw a lot before they were defunded. It's almost as, you know, they had too many police and they were just trying to collect as much revenue as they could, you know, from these tickets. So I just think it's, you know, a lot better. But you see a lot of these advertisements talking about, you know, crime has gone up in Austin. Um, crime has been trending up in Austin, you know. Um, for a little while now not that you know I mean any crime is bad crime but Austin is one of the safest cities in the country so you're not going to find any state with like zero crime as long as there's people there there's going to be a couple idiots who you know are, are doing some bad stuff so but Austin is still a safe city we don't need all of these police out here just you know trying to make money because that's all they're really doing is making money you know off the backs of citizens so I definitely think vote no, and, you know, that's my opinion. And real quick, just to kind of, like, elaborate on that, like, <clears throat> it's, it's messed up that they lumped in the the, the, fi- the fire department, yeah. which is the people that you really need to call for help, it yeah. seems like nowadays, that yeah. actually are doing the, I'm not saying there's not cops doing good, because yeah, they mean, are. we definitely need police, not that we're against police whatsoever. Not at all. We love our, but um, don't our overdo police. it. There's, there's money yeah. that can go into other places. There's money that can be spent, and if they, they should have already been doing this, is yeah. my whole point. It's like, there's, no, we don't need to put, like, y'all need to figure y'all stuff out and don't make it any difficult for anybody else because i mean more than like two cops per thousand people i mean that's going to be oversaturation and we don't need that so might as well vote no and just make it easier and not have a headline in the news because i don't want that let's go on to some interesting news though we got topic number two which is uh i got a source that showed me he knows somebody that went to a lift and it was ut quarterback casey thompson that Mm. was the driver which was interesting now there's no shame to the lift drivers you gotta do what you gotta do i think lift actually is pretty cool because you can set your own hours and do what you do do your thing i think it's interesting though that a football player has to do it for ut and he's a quarterback and he's part of the success i think even though they're still struggling but i think they're on the right track with the offense between him and behind robinson so 
what's your take on like him having to do the lift because that, that's that's interesting for me for an athlete that has to do like extended hours of like preparation for games well especially with the new you know ncaa rule where the athletes are now able to you know receive money for uh, their image and their likeliness so the fact that a uh, university of texas star quarterback has to work lift and you know with these new ncaa rules it, I mean, it's sad. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I'm just a little honesty. I am a a fan of, you know, Oklahoma. I do support Texas when they're not playing Oklahoma. But to see all the stuff that Spencer Rattler is going through, you know, he just, he got, he's a, he had a Netflix, you know, special, um, QB1. And then he just recently got um, a sponsorship of like a Dodge dealership where he got two, you know, really nice new vehicles. And then recently he lost, you know, his starting position. So he has plenty of money coming in, but is not the starter now. And you got um, Texas quarterback who is balling out of control and has to work Uber. So, you know, it's very interesting to see what's going on right now. I think it is. I mean, just like I said, because you you had like those are hours that you could be doing, you know, preparation for the game. So it's just like if he's having to do that, that that to me that says something. And I says mean, a lot. I, like I respect the hustle, Casey. Do what you got to do, though. Like I feel them. Like if they're not going to give it to you, you got to get, get it. it. You got to get hustle. it how you he's live. A so, clearly. But, but that tells like like hey, UT, do better. Come on, man. Hook Casey up. Stop doing that. We're right here. We're saying hook. Hook Casey up. Stop it. Hey, hey by the way, uh, Casey, if you need a little bag, man, come over to Pop Austin Media. Shoot, we'll give you a little bag for some content. Honestly, for hey, sure. Hey, he's working Uber. We got a little bag for him. For sure, man. I'm, I'm telling you, he's stepping the game and he did what he needs to do. And that's no slight to Card. Card's doing his thing. Yeah. He's just young cat. But Casey, hey, holler at us, man, if you need something, for sure. Um, but yeah, this is Jet. Um, thanks, Dion, for stopping by. For and sure providing your insight on things because it's helped i know they don't want to just see me all day <laughs> um, hey stop by the store too and get yourself some pop awesome media gear it's winter get yourself a hoodie yeah. yeah we got hoodies we got everything um yeah pop awesome media.com merch store this is jet with the awesome minute and i'm signing out